Welcome everybody, Solomon in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the Gauntlet of Stick Field and this is actually going to take the place of the special weapon and it is really good. I'll be talking about more what it is, it's actually a mixture of a, the flamethrower and the ripper from multiplayer, it's really cool but again I'll talk about that more at the end because so without further delay let's get right into this. So our first step is to actually fly all the way to Pack Punch and if you guys don't know how to do this I'll have a link down in the description for how to exactly do this but what you have to do you have to go head to the bottom and right before the exit through the sewers where you would normally go you can actually look up in the air right here and people were saying you have to shoot this with the explosive not true at all all you have to do is just shoot directly at the egg if you are using a normal gun but again if you're using explosives the explosive then you can just use a splash damage of that too but just shoot the egg directly or it won't work and again it'll roll down you guys will see me come back and pick it up so what you want to do with this egg you want to head all all the way back to the main map and what you could actually do with this you have to take it to a nest and there's four of them I believe around the map and I can't remember the last one is but I know for a fact that there's one where I put it at the dragon control station there's one at the armory and there's one at spawn I'm not too sure where the last one is but that just know where those three are so if just head to these ones really the best one to put is rather at spawn or right here where I put it at the dragon command center or whatever it's called I keep on changing the name of that place but whatever so what you do just go up to this nest and place your egg down and what you want to do people were saying that you have to go put your dragon strikes on it you have to strike it a couple times or you have to let dragon an actual dragon come over there and breathe on it which are both not true you don't have to do either of those and what you do you can just run away and I actually tested it inside this gameplay and I just ran away didn't let a dragon breathe on it it didn't do with your dragon strike as you guys can see I don't have my dragon strikes didn't do either of these and I came all the way back and my egg said it has to be cooled down now so you don't actually have to dragon strike it you don't have to let a dragon breathe on it just come back and just run and just place it down wait about I think about one minute I ran away for that's all I ran away for so it wasn't that long and I just came back and it says your egg must cool so let's actually move on to the next step so this one is pretty easy so you just pretty much have to leave your egg on this nest for two rounds but you can kind of trick it as you guys will see what I do on my game I actually am at the end of round seven and I just have about two zombies running around and then I just finish off the two zombies and this counted as a full round. So remember, do not kill your zombies or do not end your first round until the egg says that it must cool because then it will screw you over and it won't count as a round and you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to start it on the next round. So once you, when it says your egg must cool, go ahead and end the round and then you just have to go through another full round of zombies. So like, a, like for example, what I did on my game, round seven, I went and started it, waited for the egg to say it was on cooldown, ended the round, so that counted as a full round. Then on round eight, I went and just survived through the round and on round nine I was able to pick up my egg so in after you pick up your egg all you could so there's a few things you could do to actually check what you have to do if you ever forget any of the steps all you have to do is just come over to spawn and look at your challenges board and just look at the bottom one and originally the one at the bottom would say get a dragon egg but now it's actually telling you the next step so it, it said before this to actually put it on the nest, but we didn't come back and check that. But right now it's saying kill napon zombies. If you guys are unaware of what these are, it's just a zombie that is on fire. But what you have to do, just go ahead, get some napon zombies and kill them. Pretty simple stuff, as you guys will see me too. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of napon zombies. I think it just takes it just takes like six or something like that, or maybe 10, somewhere around that number. And then you'll be able to move on to your next one. And actually for me, this is pretty interesting because the second one, I'm pretty sure this stays the same order every game. You have to kill napalm zombies, then you have to get penetrating kills, and these are pretty interesting, I'll explain these, then melee kills, but the penetrating kills is actually what you have to do, you have to kill zombies through other zombies. So if you ever are wondering what your next step is after napalm zombies, that's what a penetrating kill is. It's kind of self-explanatory, but I didn't know what it was because I'm a dummy, but either way, if you guys ever are wondering why, why a penetrating kill, that is, that is what it is, just killing zombies through other zombies. But funny enough for me, I actually completed my napalm zombies kills and my penetrating kills in the same one. So it was pretty cool for me. But if you guys if you guys ever forget which one you're actually on, you can again head all the way back to spawn and just look at your thing and it'll say get penetrating kills 
or whatever. I'm pretty sure the order is going to be napalm, penetrating, then melee kills. That's all you have to do after th this. So it's pretty simple. You just have to complete all three of these. As you guys can see, I go back and check what my next one is, and it was melee kills. And what I did, I just pulled out my shield and killed them. And again, I'm pretty sure it only takes like eight zombies, seven zombies to actually do this. As you guys can see, I complete very fast right here using my shield. And once you've done this, all you have to do is head all the way back to the pack punch area and head, as you guys can see on screen, to these incubators right here. Place your eggs in, and all of a sudden, some non round zombies will start spawning here with some of those flying things, Valkyrie drones, that's what they're called. And just kill all these, and it'll just suck up the energy from them, or 115, whatever it's doing. Just protect it for a while, and don't die. It's pretty easy, not difficult at all. It is a small area, but just keep moving. It'll be, it'll be okay if you guys just keep moving and killing zombies. It's pretty simple stuff inside here. And after this, all you have to do is just, once it's done, your egg has to cool down. But after this, all you have to do is just wait. So you just have to wait two rounds again. Do the same exact thing as if you guys save some zombies from, um, for example, on my game, I saved some zombies on round 11, killed those last two zombies that count as a full round. Then I had to go through round 12 completely. And on round 13, I came back and picked up my egg. So it's pretty easy. Pretty simple stuff, and what you do once you've actually got your eggs, there's only one thing left to do, and you'll actually head to your challenges area and just hold square pointing at the bottom one, and you'll get your reward, and you'll be able to pick up your fists or gauntlet. It's pretty cool. This is very powerful. I actually thought this thing was weak at first, and let me just kind of explain how it works for people who don't know. So when you first pull it out, you get this little dragon on your arm, and you can be using it as a flamethrower, and this flamethrower is not good. I don't recommend to use it like this, but... All you have to do is just click L1 and you'll get rid of the flamethrower and you'll actually have kind of like the ripper from multiplayer. You just charge through these zombies. It's absolutely so sick. These guys will be able, I actually don't have gameplay of me actually hitting zombies, but you can see me punching stuff. It's pretty cool stuff. But anyways, also if you guys see on screen now when you actually put it away or even it doesn't mean when you just put it away, but if you actually did click L1, it's similar to the sword from Shadows of Evil. It's just going to be falling around protecting you with a little dragon. It can end drowned as it happened to me multiple times it's kind of annoying but it's pretty cool this little dragon you guys just see me walking around it's pretty cool stuff but anyways if you guys did enjoy this and you found it informative and helpful go ahead and thumbs up and if you guys want to stay tuned for more garage Crovies tutorials storyline gameplay anything like that go ahead and subscribe i know the easter egg has been found the main easter egg to be more specific and i'm not too sure how to do it exactly but whenever i can i'll have that tutorial up on my channel so stay tuned for that but i'm gonna go and i will catch you guys on my next video